Welcome back to Applied Houdini. This time, Dynamics 4, Interactive Volumetrics. And what do I mean by interactive? Well, I mean that instead of designating this is a blob and it's going to turn into smoke and blah, 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 this is going to be more like actual production work where the smoke is being generated from something happening. In this case, it'll be a, a pig head falling and breaking apart. It's going to generate smoke. It's going to generate particles, which in turn generate smoke. But it's also going to be interacted with by said debris. The chunks of the fracture are going to collide with the smoke and push it around. And all of that's going to come together to make for a very interesting looking effect. And like I said already, absolutely the kind of work you're going to be doing on actual shots when buildings are crashing down or spaceships are blowing up or, or what have you. The smoke is, is coming from an object under going some sort of transformation and it's also being affected by the same object that it's coming from in the first place. So yeah, so we're going to we're going to talk a little bit about Voronoi fracture and a little bit about particles. We're definitely going to save in-depth looks at those kinds of dynamics for later lessons. But for now, it'll be enough to set up our cool scene, but mostly we're going to focus on collision, we're going to focus on dynamic sources from particles and destruction. And we're going to talk about um, really qu very actually quite advanced ways of really speeding up your simulation using um, some really some lesser known back alleys of Houdini in terms of, of how to get collisions to interact with your scene much faster than even the standard workflow is. Um, all that cool stuff's going to come together and I hope you enjoy this lesson as much as you may have enjoyed my first three lessons which are out there now. And definitely check those out if you haven't already. Okay, let's get to it.